Hey y'all, in this lesson, you're gonna be learning about applications of inverse trig functions. So we're gonna be looking at some word problems and inverse trig functions to solve those word problems. With these word problems or story problems, it's usually very helpful to go ahead and draw a picture. And that picture is gonna give you a really good idea as to what you need to do to actually solve the problem. So we have a, a first example, a tower 28.4 feet high, must be secured with a guy wire anchored five feet from the base of the tower. What angle will the guy wire make with the ground? So uh, it doesn't have to be a pretty picture. It's going to be a triangle. So you can just draw a triangle if you want to, or if you're an artist, you can make it super pretty. So I have a tower and I have um, the cable, secured or anchored, sorry, five feet away. And I wanna know what angle that wire forms with the ground. So this is my tower, 28.4 feet, and it's five feet from the tower, and I'm looking for this angle. So to give some reference here, we have a right angle. This is gonna be the hypotenuse. From the angle we're looking for, 28.4 is the opposite and five is the adjacent. Whoops, or five, adjacent. And we can use SOHCAHTOA to figure out which trig function is going to be helpful to us in this situation. We have opposite and adjacent, so that's gonna be tangent. So we can say tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. And then since we're solving for theta, we're going to use inverse tangent. And we have inverse tangent of 28.4 over 5. That would be an exact solution. And then if you're looking for an approximate solution, then you can use your calculator, put it in degree mode. Let's see, clear that, make sure it's in degrees. It wasn't. There we go. Inverse tangent, so second tangent of 28.4 over 5. And we get about, nah, my, that got funny. I'll fix that. We get about 80 degrees. We could go a little bit further there and say 80.02 to be a little more exact, but it didn't specify. So 80 is going to be fine for this situation. And that's it, that's all it's asking for. For the next one, a silo is 40 feet high and 12 feet across. Find the angle of depression from the top edge of the silo to the floor of the opposite side. So it's a lot of words, but trust me, if you just draw the picture and label each piece, then it's gonna become clear to you what needs to happen. So a silo, it's kind of this rectangular thing with a dome top. You could just draw um, a rectangle if you want to. You don't have to draw the whole thing. So it says that the silo is 40 feet high and 12 feet across. We could have put the 40 on this side and the 12 here. doesn't really matter. It's the same. But I put them on this side because it's going to kind of help us with the next part. It says, find the angle of depression from the top edge of the silo. So that's going to be right here. That's kind of our line of sight to the floor of the opposite side. So that kind of forms this angle there. And then if we follow that line of sight, this here is our angle of depression. And that's, now you can see why I put the triangle uh, labels on that side, because we're kind of, we're looking for this angle here that it forms with the floor. So now I want you to try to solve this one on your own using SOHCAHTOA and inverse functions. Pause it, try it, come back. Since we have uh, from that angle <clears throat> opposite and adjacent, we're going to again use tangent. 
And then if we inverse tangent both sides, we get theta equals inverse tangent of 40 over 12. That's an exact solution. We can find the approximate solution. Um, I'm in degree mode, so I'm good there. So I'm going to do second tangent of 40 over 12. And we get about 73.3 degrees. And that's all. So moral of the story, drawing a picture is your first order of business. That's going to be the most important part, getting your picture correct. And then after that, use SOHCAHTOA and inverse functions. So that's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help and I'll see you in the next one.